Hello, let me make sure my Wi-Fi was not on. Hi, don't mind me. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing. Hi guys, um, I jumped on just a, just a smidge early. Hi Veronica, hi Oh My Vintage. I uh, hope you guys are all having a good day. It's Wednesday, it's live vintage sale day. And, oh hi Evan. And um, I will, I know that a lot of you, I'll end up repeating myself here in a minute too, but if you're, well, I can say if you're watching this later on, welcome to my channel. Every Wednesday, I have a live uh, vintage, <laughs> virtual vintage sale where I show all these items that I have and I'll have a number. I'll hold it up. I will tell you the price. I'll explain what it is a little bit. And then if you want it, then you just say the number. The first person in the chat to Claim it, we'll win it. Internet speeds are vary. So Emma is here to keep track for me. She says hi. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Nicole. Uh, she brought me, I'm a little off my game today because she brought me this concoction and I don't, it's not my usual. What is it? Have strawberry. It's a dragon berry, fruit. Berry, hibiscus. Berry, berry, hibiscus. And it isn't the greatest. So, but it does have caffeine in it. They didn't have strawberry refreshers. They had no, they had no strawberry refreshers at yes, all. I got my cord. She asked if I got my cord. Oh yes, Andrea, she got her cord. So I'm a little off my game. Hi, Lori Ann. I picked up your package today. I need to do an unboxing video. Um, I have gotten lots of birthday packages. And so I figured every, every day I'm going to open up another one and it just makes me you know, have a better day. I opened Patrick's this morning. So thank you, Patrick. That was very, I needed to hear it today. It's been a crazy week already. And yeah, I love my strawberry refreshers too, but they didn't have any. Next thing you know, you're going to go to Starbucks and they're going to say, we don't have any coffee. We went to Taco Bell once and they told us they had no beef. So anyway, all right. Hi, Barb. Hi, mom. Mom's watching too. Okay. So I have like 60 things. I, I know I said I was going, only going to do 50, but I, I, I have some smaller things. So I went ahead and, you know, pulled a couple more th things. And then after this sale, you can hop on to Instagram and I will show 15 bonus items for the after the sale sale. Uh, so make sure that you do that immediately following this sale. There'll be the bonus sale. Um, also, oh, and if you, you have bought something from me before, uh, you it still send me an email, but I, I, I can hunt you down. I can find where you're at. But if you've not bought something from me before, I do need you to send me an email. I need your YouTube name, your actual name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email. And over the next couple days, I will be working on invoices. Last week, Emma helped me, and I got them all done in a day. So I'm hoping that that will be the case again tomorrow. So hi, Aaron from Floyd, Floyd, Virginia. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, first of all, I have to say, I'm so sorry that Michael can't watch today. So guys, Michael won't be with us today. He had to work. Blech. So he'll be, he's with us in spirit, right? Oh, it's potty mouth, Rachel. Rachel, don't apologize. We, it, it happens. Just ask Alex. She does it all the time. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I am going to, let's just start with something small. Now I have these little salt and pepper shakers that remind me of going camping in a vintage camper. They're just these cute little plastic. I gotta, you know, you gotta figure out how to stop, not show the sign. These little plastic salt and pepper shakers, very mid-century and retro uh, plastic. They would be great for a vintage camper. And you just pop the bottom off and put your salt and pepper in. Very cute. No, no damage on at all. They are $5 and they are number 50. Number 50 for the little red salt and pepper shakers, plastic, $5. Your mom and dad are there in their camper for two months. Well, at least they're in their camper, not in your house, right? Right? Okay, Lesta. Hi, Lesta. You get, that. do you have a vintage camper, Lesta? Let me know if you're going to use this for your vintage camper and I will, I will live through your adventures. I had, a, we had a camper. We used to go camping a lot, but um, when we bought this 
building and had the business so there was no time for camping so one day again we will have we'll have a camper um i will say that i will be showing a lot of oh lusta has a vintage camper emma yay lusta i'm so excited i i will have a lot of um salt and pepper shakers i just got done filming a video so you'll see a video on thursday no You'll see a video on Friday and I'll have the same, yeah, I'll have the same shirt on, on Friday in that video because I just got done filming that video. It will be a, like all salt and pepper shakers. I have, I bought over 70 sets and I'm going to try something a little bit different to on some of them. So that video will go up on Friday. After that video is over, all of the salt and pepper shakers that I have shown will go live on or they'll go active on eBay as an auction. So you, you know, you'll have a chance to, you know, get the salt and pepper shakers. Sometimes people can't, they email me, I, I can't watch your lives because I'm working. So I'm trying to kind of come to a happy medium where I can put some things as an auction as well. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. This is, oh, hi, Joan. I'm, you know, I randomly just change the subject and say hi to somebody right after. Oh, hi, Michelle. See here, I do it again. All right. So these are those little Bosco dogs salt and pepper shakers i'm salt and i'm pepper they are made in japan one of them has the stopper and one of them doesn't they could use a good bath i didn't i should have wiped these down but i didn't now i use um a clorox wipe very gently on these and the they're kind of like they they've just been in storage and i need a little bit of a cleaning but these guys are six dollars and they're number 51 51 for the little Bosco dog salt and pepper shakers. They kind of look like French bulldogs in a way. Okay. I have Hemlock Lady. Hemlock Lady. I don't recognize you, Hemlock Lady, so make sure that you send me an email with your actual name too so I can get to know you. So welcome. Okay, so we got the Bosco dogs. Now, I do have another set of these that will be available soon. So if you didn't get them, have no fear. I have more. All right. Next, now... I'm going to show you something that is completely out of my wheelhouse. This is not the type of thing that I typically buy because I like the kitschy things and the unusual, not the frilly frou-frou things. It's just not, it's just, they're lovely, but it's just not, it's not my, my style. But I, I, I know that a lot of people like these things, so I have been picking them up when I see them. So I'm just going to see if this is something that I should, should still be looking out for, but this is a made in Japan little swan, this little flower here. I think it's a, um, a trinket dish, but it could be like a little ashtray. They made such odd ashtrays because this is pretty, but it has like a little divot here in its tail. Like you'd think like a little ashtray could sit there. I don't know. Uh, but the, the petals on the roses are complete. There aren't any flea bites or anything on them. So it's in really good condition. Very pretty gold trim on it. This is $4 and it's number 26. And it's, yeah, it's white. It's not pink. It's coming off a little pale pink. But this cute little, it could be for rings or um, gum. I know they have gum keepers too, but it has that little divot that makes me think that it might have been like a personal ashtray. I have L Brinkley. L Brinkley. Hi, L. Little soaps. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know, but that little, I don't know, that little thing. Oh, I didn't show you the bottom. It is made in Japan. And it feels like it's some sort of porcelain or I don't know. So, oh yeah, you could put lipstick in it. You guys have such good ideas. Hemlock Farms. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I know who you are. Well, welcome. Welcome back. Okay. So. Um, how about a gun? Let's just change the subject to, uh, from the nice swan to a red gun. This is made from early plastic. It has a Native American and a horse right there. It's made, I think, in Taiwan. Yeah, it's made in Taiwan. You can see right there, it's embossed, made in Taiwan. Um, I, I think it's a cat gun. Like, you'd pull the hammer back. I don't know. Or you stick the little popper things in there and load it and then shoot it. So it is really neat. I think that this would be neat, kind of propped up in a 4th of July display just because it's red. No, no, for no more reason than that. But it is, it does have the Native American and the horse on that side as well. 
just a really neat old vintage toy. It's in great condition. There's not any, any damage to it. It even still has the gold trim right there. This toy gun is $5 and it's number 55. Number 55 for the little toy cap gun is $5. Strip caps. Yeah. I couldn't I think. Lorian Adeline. This Sorry. is yours. Sorry, Evan. Sorry, Evan. Sorry, Evan. All right. <laughs> now, this I like. And I hope I think that you guys might like it too. I think it's just cool. It is a cosmetics case. Now, this is like the old school caboodle. You know, kids now, well, I mean, even back in the 90s, I had a caboodle. But like back in the in the 60s and 70s, this was the this was the caboodle of its day. Now, let me know if you if you had something similar to this too. Uh, it just says cosmetics here. That's a little piece of tape that I need to pull the rest of it off. But I think it's really neat. It has the lipstick and um, a paintbrush because, you know, you, it looks like a paintbrush. It doesn't look like a makeup brush to me. Um, and then another little brush there. I think maybe that's a nail file. It's like it, a tortoise. Huh? It's a tortoise. Yeah, it's almost like a tortoise, you know, shell. It does have the inner tray. So we have all your slots for your little lipsticks and makeups it's in really nice condition and it has the tortoise but it's like speckly with glitter as well you know that kind of look uh, i think this is really fun it doesn't have who made it anywhere on it but this is 14 dollars, and it's number 36 14 dollars for number 36 for the vintage cosmetics canister Lori C. Lori C. All right. I think that that's fun. I like that too. Okay. I got linens. Linens. Oh, hi, Alex. I just saw that you came in. Gotcha. Okay. I have a really cool quilted pillowcase that I think is fun. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to tuck the tag in so nobody can see it. Um, here is the pillowcase. It's so cute. And it has like a, sort of like a, a Hawaiian theme going around here, or like a hula girl. You can see that in the, the hula hut. And then the other fabric is, well, I mean, it's all coordinating a little bit, but the back has some little spots on it there. I have not, it's, I've washed it. I haven't treated it. These to me, I don't know if they would come out. There, there are a couple little pinholes in it right there. So this side is much better than the other side, but it's still fun. It has the little where you can just slide a pillow in there. And this is $6 and it's number 45 for the vintage pillowcase. $6 for number 45. I have Joelle Madel. Joelle Natal? Natal. Natal. Joelle Natal. Oh, yeah, Laura, let me know. Write me, send me a message and let me know how you're doing, Laura, okay? I, I want to know how you're doing. All right. I have had this for a while, and it's chalkware. So it, it's a chalkware piece, so it's going to have some wear. Uh, but here it is. Let me take this off. And this is, this was in my video, and it is the ashtray caddy, or the cigarette caddy. But you have your ashtray here in this little water effect going down to the house. And then on this side, you can keep your cigarette pack. On this side, you can keep your matchbook. So a very functional piece of chalkware. Uh, it would be, this would be cute for a fairy garden, Connie. I didn't even think about that. You guys have such good ideas. It has, you know, a kind of a paper bottom. Now, it is chalkware. It's in good shape, but there are, you know, some paint wear, and there's a little spot right there that's kind of chipped. It is a little heavy. I will say that. It, it does have some weight to it. I'm in Indiana, uh, so just keep that in mind. If you live on the West Coast, it's going to be a little bit it more expensive to ship it. Uh, but this is $12 and it's number 40. 
$12 for the Chalkware Fairy Garden Ashtray House. $12 for number 40. Connie Ainsley. Ooh, Connie, if you make that into a fairy garden, I want to see a picture of it. Because that would be, that would be neat to see. Okay, I have a feeling that this is going to be a popular thing. So just, you know, get your fingers ready. If you like this sort of thing. It's a book, but it was in one of my videos and it is our state birds. Look at the color. I know. I'm drawn to it too. Look at the cute little bird on there. So this was written by Mary I. Curtis. And on the inside, it has like a picture of the United States. Uh, yeah, okay, I, so does it have a white? Yes, it does. But it has all the birds represented. But it just kind of talks about the states and birds. Let me, I was trying to hope that I could get to a chapter. Uh, the lark bunting is the state bird of Colorado. And so it has several different like stories and facts about each bird. The book is in excellent condition. There's no writing in it. This was an uncirculated um, school book from a library. But I think that it's so pretty. I love that you can display it sideways or the, with the, um, the cover showing. It's $8 and it's number 56. Number 56 is the way is the bird book. I have Lesta Fitzpatrick. Oh, Lesta. <clears throat> I know. It's it's so cute. Oh, I didn't see Jocelyn stop hop on here. Hi Jocelyn. Hope that you're doing well. Um I'm gonna show another book. And I'm my heart kind of hurts to show this book because um I I kind of I'm, I'm missing Michael, but this reminds me. So this is just, this is just, you know, is in Michael's honor. This is the book that was in my video that looks just like Alex. I mean, she doesn't look just like Alex, but when I first saw her, I thought, hey, that looks like Alex, Alex, which is chapter two vintage co. This book does have some issues, but I love, I just, I love the graphic on it. Vinny kind of needs this too. I think Vinny's probably working today too, but I like that. It's just, I mean, this was, I don't know the copyright because the first couple pages, well, actually a lot of the pages are missing because it starts on page 37. So we don't know how she became a, uh, a wild girl because it says two men and one wild girl. Um, I'm not sure I want to be a lady. And I read the part that it's a headstrong young man and an uninhibited she imp. Do you know what a she imp is? I don't know. I've never heard that phrase before. No, Michael didn't pass away. He's at work. Guys, he's just... Which is almost like passing away. Well, yeah. Um, so, an untamed darling, that was Iris. One minute she was milk and honey, pouting like a spoiled baby. The next minute she was a rabble lazian hussy. A veritable fountain of passion let loose in a room. So, it's a love trial story, as most of them. She's a... Yeah, wouldn't it be fun? I don't... Maybe it wouldn't be fun to be a she-imp. I'd have to figure out what that definition is before I would say that it would be fun. This is a very saucy book. Um, so anyway, it's $4 because it does have issues, but man, I, I just, I love the cover art on it and it is number 29. I'm going to put that right over Alex's face. $4 for number 29 is the untamed darling. And I wish all the pages were there. Andrea, Andrea Ep, don't let Evan read this book, Andrea. Evan, you may not read this book. You have to wait. You can't read such things. No. I'm sure Andrea won't let him read that. But Andrea might read it. <laughs> okay. Next, we have an elephant. I know that a lot of people like elephants. I like elephants too. And I especially like elephants when their trunk is up because that's good luck. Um, this one has a very pretty side and a kind of, well, it's tarnished. So if you like the worn look or if you like the shiny look, you've got the best of both worlds. This isn't, oh, hi, Vinny. I didn't see you come on. This isn't so, a piece of solid brass, so it isn't going to weigh. I mean, it still has some weight to it, but it's not going to weigh as much. I mean, the, the chalkware house weighs more than this does. Uh, this is, 
I don't know. If it, I think it's just a statue. It probably had a piece of felt on the bottom that's no longer there. Um, but this brass elephant is $10 and it's number seven. Number seven, the brass elephant is $10. So you can have good luck. <clears throat> Shirley Pearl. Someone said it's probably a bookend. I kind of thought that it might be a bookend, but I mean, it could be, but he doesn't have a flat back. Like he the it, trunk side, mom. The trunk side. Oh yes. I tell you what. I was born with blonde hair, just so you know. Okay. Next, let's do. Now, this did not sell in my Instagram sub, but I'm gonna see if you know you guys would like it. And if you don't, then I don't know. But I think that this is cool. This was a haul video from a long time ago. And I have several other of them, and I just haven't done anything with them yet. It is the Rudy Tootie, or Rudy Kazooty puzzle from the 50s. It's in this plastic wrap just to kind of, you know, keep it all together. But it has this little soapbox der derby guy. It does have a little bit of issues in some of the... the cardboard coming off, but... Rudy wins the soap box race without a second's lag. Um, here he is a rolling in past Polka Dottie's flag. I just love the colors in this. I thought it'd be great to use as the background of a display, like on a shelf. Um, this is $8 and it is number 23. $8 for number 23. I like it. All right, nobody wants the puzzle? Lori C does. Lori C? I think that you're smart because I think that it's really cool. I like stuff like that. I also like stuff like this. This is a cute little planter. I think this was in my video too. I don't remember. Um, it's this, I don't know if this is like a Shih Tzu or a Yorkie. I don't know what kind of dog this is. But it has a happy little face on it. It's a planter. It's in great condition. I want to say this is probably left in. It looks like a Lefton kind of signature on it. Oh, the internet's bad. Was there, is it okay? Okay, just making sure. But I think that it's so cute. What can you put in this, boys and girls? A plant. It's a planter. Of course, you can put a plant in it. You could put um, makeup in it. You could put lipstick in it. You can put whatever you want to in it. Uh, but these, the planters... They are. The planters are doing wonderful. So if you're able to get a planter for a good price and you are a reseller, I would pick it up because they're doing very well. This guy is $10 and he is number three. Number three. Oh, pen holder. That's a good idea. Or crayons. Although your kids may not. I know my kids would not be trusted with this when they were little. So very cute. I uh, I figured this one would be Stacy Brinkley. Stacy Brinkley. All right, this is going to you, Stacy. Yeah, I I I figured that would be a popular, a popular little fellow. Okay, now I sent a couple of these to Michelle, and I have one that I'm going to sell on eBay because it is that the one alone sells for about forty dollars on eBay, and it has all about the Curse of Oak Island, like from the fifties. These are all from the 50s. They are those coronet books. They are like a women's public publication. That's a hard word to say. Um, did you miss the fairy light? Nope, you haven't met, missed it yet. So it just has like different stories and uh, photographs. If you do junk journaling and you want to cut this apart, just don't tell me about it. I mean, that's okay. I just, I just don't like to hear about it because it makes it hurts my heart look you can learn how to lose weight uh from the new book eat think and be slender uh the 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 uh ads in these are fun and the graphics in them are fun so there's three of them this one is from may 1954 this one is from april 1954 and this one is from august 1954 look at that one Vinny. Now, this one does have a little bit of wear, unfortunately, on the cover, but that would look neat in a summer display. And it's got John Wayne on the back, uh, you know, peddling off his camel cigarettes. And this guy, too. Who are you? 
William Holden, I've heard of him before. He's trying to uh, sell his camel cigarettes too. Um, these, for all three of them, they're $8 and they are number 59. Number 59 is $8 for all three of the vintage Coronet books. Laurie Ann Adeline. Adeline. She's coming to you. All right. Now I have a little kitchen thing. Oh, we're back. I turned off the internet. There's something going on with, am I back? Okay. We didn't have electricity for most of the morning. So just, I'm going to wait a few minutes. I'm, Laura says I'm frozen. Am I back? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. It's better without internet. Yeah, I, you know, we, we got those internet boosters and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. I'll wait a few minutes. Okay, I'm good, all good, all right. I have this little vintage set of aluminum measuring cups. We have a cup, a half a cup, I think a third of a cup and a and a fourth of a cup, but they just nest. I just think that they're neat. I just, I just thought that they were neat. I like to use things like this still, so you can use it as a display. You could also put a plant in it if you wanted to. And uh, yeah, a lot of people still use these, and a lot of people swear by using these old vintage kitchen tools. This whole set is $5, and it's number 14. Number 14. I know what you're after today, Rachel. <laughs> Five dollars for number fourteen, the aluminum measuring cups. Oh my goodness! A lot of people like the measuring cups. Yeah, they're good, and they kind of like if your grandma had them, or you know, they're kind of a sentimental thing too. I have Cindy Eichelman. Cindy Eichelman. Oh, ooh, we're gonna have a fight here between Nicole and Rachel. I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm gonna wait. I mean, I'm not gonna do it till last, so don't worry. I'm gonna do it soon. Okay, here is the, this was in my video. This is the cat, fox, dog, I don't know. He's, he's very derpy. He needs a good home. He's a little piece of redware. Horribly painted, which I think is magical and fun. And again, you put this on your shelf and someone comes in and they might think that, I mean, you could say, oh, I love this. This is my favorite piece. And just look at their face. That's fun to do. So, this little guy is, I don't know if he's a fox. I think maybe he's a fox cat dog. We'll see. Um, it is number 16 and it's $5. Number 16 and $5 for the cat fox dog. He is marked Japan on the bottom. Very, ever so, ever so lightly. I have Sue Terwilliger. So, oh no. So, Sue? Sue T. Sue T. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hack up your name again, Sue. I know who you are. Sue Turlger Winger. No. Nope. I tried. Yeah, um, Nicole, uh, Rachel is not after the fairy lamp. Rachel's after one of these. Uh, this is the Barks uh, root beer bottle. It has kind of the the diamond diamond uh, diamond plate up along the the rim of it it is embossed barks there on the back the i have you know the big red bottle too that will be coming up soon but aren't these fun to display for fourth of july you can put little flags in them i love these i have these on my shelves in my home year round i just i love them i think that they're fun but i like bottles and i like advertising so it's kind of the best of both worlds so this bottle is six dollars and it's number 42. six dollars number 42. i did send you a big red bottle like that nicole you know i said like i said in my video big red is big around here i don't care for it myself but there's a lot of big red things here but the bottles are really neat um, bud bases yeah <clears throat> i have lori oh lori let's see lori k lori k lori kiltsy Maybe I said it right. Or it kiltsy. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Big Red. I, I, I don't know, I'm just not. All right, 
set of salt and pepper shakers. These were in my video, as I think. I edited some, because the video was way too long to begin with, so I had to edit some things out. So I can't remember if these got left in, but these little kissing salt and pepper shakers, the little Dutch boy and girl kissing, they are made by, I want to say, um, I don't know. I thought it was NAPCO, but it, National Potteries, not National Potteries. Very sweet little faces. I love the eyelashes. These are in excellent condition. They both have their corks. They are made in Japan. Oh, it is NAPCO. I was going to say, I thought it was NAPCO here. I couldn't really read that, but that was definitely a NAPCO sticker. These little guys are so cute. They are $12 and they are number 18. And that's upside down. Number 18 is twelve dollars i have thrifting adventures oh thrift stephanie stephanie you got the little the little kissing boy and girl they got their clothes on stephanie stephanie likes naked things <laughs> she likes na naked she likes naked statues i didn't mean for that to sound as appropriate as it probably did but she collects some statues they're works of art. All right, how about a brooch? Now, I'm still planning, I keep saying, I'm still planning on doing a brooch sale only. And I will announce that. So, yeah, it is very, very hibiscus. And it's not that great. It tastes like lotion. It tastes like, kind of like lotion. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to drink it. So, but I will announce that because I know brooches aren't for everybody. And so, if you don't want to watch a sale on brooches, I don't, I don't blame you. It's not necessarily my thing either, but I do have a lot of them. So here is, oh, I think it's pretty. I think that they're pretty. Um, I, this one kind of reminds me of dandelions and my, my, um, I would say my mascot for the shop is a dan our dandelion. So I kind of like that aspect of it. This one does not have a maker's mark on it anywhere. Uh, and it does have the little clasp. I'm going to show it this way. I might be able to see it a little bit better. Um, it is no, it is $8, and it's number 52. Number 52 is $8. There are no stones missing. Very sparkly. I have L. Brinkley. L. Brinkley. Uh, no, Christy, it didn't just start, but I have a lot, of, I have a lot more things all right the next thing this is just a little thing but I, again i like little things like this because i think they look cute in a display and when you find these things they they deserve not to be you know thrown away because they're cool and it's this little baby rattle isn't that oh and it's a little it's got a little bit of a wobbly head i would not let your child i would not let your baby play with this because i'm sure the choking hazard so it, this is just simply for cuteness in a display, or maybe you had one as a child, but don't let your child play with this. This is $3 and it's number 57. $3, this would look cute like in a floral arrangement too, like if you were making a, um, a floral display for a baby. I have superior, superior pearl vintage. Rachel, See, Rachel likes the same kind of stuff I do. If Rachel and I were to ever get together and go thrifting, it would be dangerous. And neither one of us are runners, but we may have to go into training because we'll be, you know, going after the same thing. Speaking of Rachel, I have a 7-Up bottle. This one is not the Bubble Girl. I don't have, I don't know if I have, uh, thrift you, girls, you have missed, you've missed some. But I got a lot more. Uh, this isn't the Bubble Girl. I don't know if I have any more of the Bubble Girls left. And if you saw my video, the Bubble Girls have a little girl or a woman in a vintage bathing suit. And she's surrounded by all the 7-Up bubbles. Uh, this one is just a 7-Up. Freshen up with 7-Up. It also looks great in a display for, the summer, for a summertime display or spring. This is $6 and it's number one. Number one is $6 for the 7-Up bottle. Rachel! Rachel! Superior 
girl vintage. Well, Rachel, you'll probably like these too. These cute little deer salt and pepper shakers, they, uh, I, they're exactly the same. So I want to say that they're probably, they, pro they maybe had different mates, but now they're together because they look exactly the same and they have, they both have two holes in them. They don't have their stoppers in them, but I just think that for, you know, for a display, you can use these. I mean, you're going to use them in your display probably anyway, but um, yeah, they have the little spots on them. They're so, they're like little doves, I guess they are. They are super cute. They are $8 for the pair of them, and they are number 15. Number 15 are fawns. Fawns. Or does. Fawns are babies. Baby girls. C.A. Susie. Doe, a deer, a female deer, huh? C.A. Oh, Susie. C.A. Susie. Yeah, and they don't have any, there's no damage on them. Like, their little ears don't even have a, a chip on them. Okay, here's another thing that is completely out of my wheelhouse again. Oh, fawns usually have spots. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. We, we live amongst all of the deer, and I did not know that. Hi, Tina. Okay, this is, again, something completely out of my wheelhouse, not something that I typically source for, but I thought that you guys might like it. It's very dainty and pretty, and I'm not a very dainty kind of gal, I guess. I like... 7-Up bottles and that kind of stuff. This was made in Germany, and it's a little trinket basket. Very sweet with these raised flowers on it. It has gold trim on it. Here it says made in Germany. In Germany, not in West Germany. Uh, but this is all of the little flower petals appear to be all there. There's the back of it. And this little basket is $4 and it is number 27. Number 27 is $4. Yeah, I like my rust. I do like my rust and it's very it's very pretty in a very shabby chic way. So number 4 is $27. Randy, Randy Heilman. Um yeah, Capa de Monte, it is a very, you know, it it is Capa de Monte esque. I don't, I mean, it's not, I don't think that it's like actual Capa de Monte, but it is um, very much that similar style. Rust makes everything better. I like rusty, rusty things like this. Now, this I think is going to be, I think people are going to like this. I hope people are going to like this. It's the big enamel coffee pot. Now, it is in, well, I'll show you why it's making sound. But it, it's in, you know, I love the, the, when the enamel gets worn off a little bit. I like that look. It has a really pretty jadeite green rim all the way around it. And it has the lid. It, you know, has the, the whatever this is called, this strainer. Then you can just pour it in there. Now, the inside, this has been used. It, it's rusty. I don't think that I would use it today. I would just use it for decoration. It's been used. And it also it does have the strainer on the inside. So if you're, you know, a crafter, if you're buying this, you know, you could use this in a display as well. You can see there it does have a dis, um, the strainer on the bottom. Really neat piece. I do not see this collar very often at all. This is something that Dad picked up. He cleaned it up. It's very, very nice and it's just, it's just, this, this to me is beautiful. I love this. This is $30 and it is number 22. Number 22. It does have some weight to it, you know, cause it's enamel. You know, th this part especially has, this part is heavier than this part, but I think this is just really neat. I like it. I have Terry Ann's eclectic. Terry Ann. Terry Ann's eclectic this and that. Yeah, I liked it too. I'm a little sad to see it go. But I know Terry Ann will, will love on it. All right. It would be a great planter. You can make anything a planter. You could make this. Well, this is a planter. 
this little elf boot. Now, I almost didn't get this, and the reason why I almost didn't get it is it's not, I mean, it's made in Taiwan. It's a florist piece, piece but I think that, I mean, here you can, sh you know, display it for St. Patrick's Day, which is really hard to find things to display for St. Patrick's Day. And then you can turn it around and you can display it for Christmas. You can put plants in it. You could put pencils in it. You could put whatever you wanted to in it. I think it's very cute. Someone did put little, like little foamy things on it to make it prevent it from sliding. This little boot is pretty lightweight. It's $8 and it is number 11. Number 11, the little Prixy boot is $8. I have Andrea Joseph. Well, Andrea, see your internet's not too slow. Ooh, a bottle brush tree. Connie, you have all kinds of good ideas. You could put two bottle brush trees in there. It's a pretty good size, and it's very lightweight. But it doesn't matter because Andrea lives in Indiana, so it's not going to be going very far. You might be able to eat your Lucky Charms out of it. It is glazed on the inside. So there you go. Evan, you can eat your uh, Lucky Charms out of it. Okay, so Vinny, if you're watching... I was watching one of Vinny's sales, uh, and if you haven't, you know, check out Vinny's Vintage. He has a YouTube channel. You can follow him on Instagram. He has uh, live sales like we do, um, and I, it's one of those things, I was like, why did I buy that? Why did I buy that? It's so odd and unusual that I felt like I had to buy it, but I don't need it, and I don't even remember how much I paid for it. I might be paying less, or I might be selling it for less than I, than I paid for it. I don't know. But it is this, the Goodbye Cruel World mug with the baby in it. Laura, this is right up your alley, right, Laura? Don't you need that? It's made in Japan. <laughs> I, I, it's your toilet mug, Vinny. Yes. But it says, Goodbye Cruel World. The moon may kiss the stars on high. The stars may kiss the bright blue sky. The dewdrops may kiss the grass. But you, my friend, can... You know, you can kiss, use your imagination. What rhymes with grass? It doesn't have a G in it or an R. All right. So, <laughs> oh, I think Evan wants this, right, Evan? Don't you need this? Don't you want to drink out of it? You can drink your juice out of this. Yeah, it's a little disturbing. But, I, and I, it's glazed on the inside. So you can drink out of it if you would like. I don't know. It, it's a souvenir piece. I, I can't tell where... It's a souvenir piece from, it's kind of, it's faded, but it is $6 and it is number 20. $6 for number 20. Someone says I'm buffering. I'm Andrea Joseph. <clears throat> Evan, guess what's coming you to your house? Oh, Evan was trying to get it. Evan, or is that Evan's dad? Is that is that Evan? Evan, are you Adam today? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Lisa. All right, how about a linen? I love this linen. This linen reminds me of Jeffrey because it's like it's just, just it's just like his jam. He ha he likes having the tablecloths on his table, and this one is a nice pink. Now, this one is like a card table size. It's not like for a dining room table. It has a really, that really, it's not going to pick it up on very, on this camera very well. But it's that vintage kind of a light, light pink. And it has the brown stripes on it. It does, it is linen. It does have a few little spots on it. There. It's washed, but not treated. Because I say this all the time, some people like the stains and spots on it. I kind of like, I'm, I like to leave things how I have found them. So it does have some stains on it, but it's still a fun piece of vintage linen. And it is $12 and it's number 60. $12 for the pink vintage linen tablecloth. Okay. Nobody wants the pink tablecloth. It's really cute. Cabin or picnic. Right. All right. We'll move on. 
Next, I know someone will want this. This is a tea towel and it's folded so nicely. No takers, I know, no takers for the tablecloth. Look at the little duck with the hand stitch flowers. Now, I don't believe that the tea towel itself is old. Thank you, Vinny. Um, I don't, oh wait, I spent the whole day in the hospital, so if I bit on the lamp, don't get mad. I need it in my life. I'll let you guys all figure that out. Okay, so, I, and I hope that you're doing okay, Tom. This vintage, well, it's not vintage, but it's vintage looking. The tea towel itself is not vintage. And it's, to me, this, this is kind of like, I have several of these. This to me is like the size of like a child's, like a child's table. So it's a child's so table size tablecloth, or you could use it as a doily, but it has this cute little duck on one corner, very nicely done needle, um, needle point. It's $8 and it's number 33. They're talking about the fairy lamp. Fairy lamp table topper is $8 and it's number 33. I have Jared Elkins. Jared, Jared, you get the little duck. Jared, this will look cute for your kid's little table. It's very clean too. Where I got the place that I got that from the estate sale was just, it was great. It was nice, clean, nice, clean uh, sale. Okay. This is a beautiful piece. Now I tried to do a little bit of research on this, but not like hours of research. I looked in a couple of my McCoy books and cause I thought that this was McCoy, this really pretty sunny yellow pottery pitcher. And it has the sailboat on it with the wind blowing and it has it on both sides. I like that it's very kind of an art deco uh, lines to it. It does have an applied handle. There's no uh, chips, cracks or flaws. It does have crazing and just like they're not chips. I don't feel them being chips at all. I think it's just like age lines in them, I guess. Um, I, I this, So it's not marked and I couldn't find the maker's mark on it. I didn't see it in two of my McCoy books, so I don't know. But it would be really pretty with flowers in it. And once again, I didn't grab any flowers to show you. Yeah, they're wrinkles. We all have wrinkles. It's bright yellow, but it looks dark yellow on the screen. Yeah, it's bright yellow. Emma says it looks dark yellow on the screen, but it is a bright, sunny yellow. It is $28, and it's number 38. $28. For number 38. I think it's really, really neat. I have Lori C. Lori C. People are asking about your shirt. Oh, my shirt. I got it last year, the year before on Etsy. I'll try to find the, I'll, I'll go back in my Etsy. I don't buy a lot from Etsy, except I do buy shirts. So I, I'll be able to find it. All right. So let's see how about we do the big red bottle here is the big red bottle um i will have some more of these in upcoming sales this is big red this is all southern indiana this is just represents we had, we're the home of iu indiana university big red but so this is you know we have a lot of this stuff down here it's deliciously different kind of tastes like a red cream soda so this is a 12 ounce bottle um, it was uh, bottled in Waco, Texas. Really nice display for the 4th of July uh, Memorial Day. You can put flag in it. It is $5 and it is number five. $5 for number five. Mariah Snap. Oh, yeah, uh, Andrea's daughter is going to Ball State. I went to Ball State. Go Big Red. Go Cardinals. All right, now let's do this. Is that scary? Okay. Oh, if you're lagging, here's some tips that you can do. Uh, you can hit refresh. You can make sure that at the top of your screen, it'll say top chat. Make sure that you are in live chat. And you sometimes you have to completely close it out and come back in again. So like you have to just X out of YouTube and come back in again. So those are the tips that I have that sometimes will work. 
Okay, yeah. Evan, Evan needs this. Okay, so this is cute. I think that this would be neat on a porch swing or it's just a, it's pillow. And she's a little faded. She's got some sun fading on her. She was hand stitched on one, or she was repaired on one leg. And I like that about her. I, I like that she was repaired because that to me shows that she was loved. And I like that fact about her. So she has a little repair on her. She is $6 and she's number 44. And she does, she doesn't have a face on both sides. So she does have, she doesn't have eyes on the back of her head. But $6 for number 44. I have Hemlock Lady. Hemlock Lady. I like her. I like her little bows. I think that she's really sweet. But creepy. So, but I like that. All right, now let's do, I have another 7-Up bottle, just like the other one, freshen up with 7-Up. <laughs> Evan was bidding on the doll, who was probably bidding it for you, Andrea, as a, as a gift. Um, the 7-Up bottle is just like the other one that I just sold. It has a, this is a sticker that I, I will take off before, I, there, see, I just took it off. Um, this is $6.00. And it is, what, number two? Look at Andrea's comments. Oh, yeah, number two. Oh. <laughs> That's where they stuffed her at her foot. Probably so. Okay. All right. Yeah, because she wouldn't have been factory made. It would have been a, well, maybe. I don't know. Because she looks like she's, she looks like she's fact, factory, like, like factory, like she's still vintage, but. But you see how, I don't know. Superior Girl Vintage got the seven up. Oh, Superior Girl Vintage. Rachel, you're going to have all the bottles and all the land. I have them right now. I have a lot of them. Okay, so let's do this piece of restaurant wear. I think I said, talked about this in my video. I don't know. Um, this is, they don't match. I know, they look like they do. I know. I like groupings too, group in thirds. It's very appealing. It's very aesthetically appealing when you're trying to stage your antique booths too. So these don't match, but man, they're awfully close. You see that? So I kind of lumped them together because I thought they looked pretty together. I know, Barb, Barb is watching. Um, this one is Warwick, made in the USA. And I don't know if it's just a relish dish I don't think that it's an under tray for the uh, the gravy boat, but it just, it matched so well that I thought I should keep them together. So we have Warwick, and then this one, I think it's Syracuse. Yeah, no, this one's Shenango. Shenango, China from Pennsylvania. They both are in great conditions. No, no chips, cracks on them. They're restaurant wear, so they're, you could probably throw this across the room and it still wouldn't break. Um, very pretty. I, you don't normally see them with this floral design on them. You get both both pieces together for twelve dollars, and it's number twenty five. Number twenty five is twelve dollars for the restaurant here. I have Barb. Barb. No chippy whippies, cracky wackies, or holy wollies. That's right. Barb, you were just destined to have that. Ooh, Patrick was trying to get Patrick was trying to get it from you, Barb. So was Terry Ann. It's really cool. I you don't see that very often. Some big motorcycle was just driving by. Okay, these are strawberries. These were in my video, I think. I'm gonna quit saying that because I don't remember. Um, they are, you get red strawberries and Green strawberries are kind of like a sage green more than, I mean, this is green green. But they're kind of a, a sage green. So you get a whole bag of strawberries. Very cute as fillers in a boat, in a gravy boat, you know? There you go. You can use them as fillers in a bowl or on a tiered tray. I just thought they were fun and just different. So you get the whole bag of stuffed strawberries for $8 and they are number six. Number six is $8. I'm gonna put this tag on the inside bag so I don't lose it. Number six is $8. Shirley Pearl. 
Shirley Pearl. I do have a Mountain Dew in the wings, Andrea. <laughs> it's right over there. Because I, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like that. And I don't, I'm not a blueberry or raspberry. Like, I like raspberry flavored things, but I don't but it's like. it's berry and hibiscus. Yeah, it's real seedy. It it's real seedy. Like lotion. Okay. Uh, don't feel badly if people, yeah, I know Shirley gets a bad rap, but Shirley, we love you. So you buy it all, Shirley. No. Um, Shannon, Emma's going back and checking, and so she makes sure. So she just said she saw Shirley. Sometimes you will see your name in, at, at first. I don't know why, but it, you will show up in the feed first. Um, but we do go back and check just to make sure. Oh, hi, Cynthia. All right, let's continue. Let's do these cows. Now, these are very colorful. Let's say that. They're very, very colorful cows. Now, I did call this a bull in my video, and I was corrected because bulls are boys, and I said that this was her babies, but I just assumed that, that this was the mama. That was a horrible assumption of me because this could very well be the dad, um, but they hang from the dad. Um, they are marked Japan on the bottom. The baby cows, the salt comes out of the back of their heads, and... They're in excellent condition. They do both have the corks in the bottom. They're all marked Japan. No chippy whippies, no cracky wackies, as Vinny said. Um, these are $14 and they are number nine. Number nine for the cow family salt and pepper shakers are num or $14, number nine. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Yeah, they're different, aren't they? All right. How about we do another planter, shall we? Why not? Dad picked up several of these, so I will be showing, you know, several more of these as the weeks go by. I'm actually showing another one, a different one, but kind of the same thing in my um, Instagram sale right after this. But this is a book planter. It is made by the Books of Remembrance by Royal Windsor. And this one is for a baby. It's a congratulations. So it's a floral piece. So someone would have gotten this and they would have had um, a flower or plant. It was delivered to someone who just had a baby. So you could do that as well. You could make your own floral arrangement and put this in here and deliver it to someone or just use it yourself if you like planters. Huh? Michael, can you show Michael! You're here! I sold that book already, though, Michael. I have more books, though. I'll show them right next. Oh, hi. Well, okay. I won't show them. You've got something coming your way soon, though, so just know that. I'm glad that you popped in to say hi. This is $6, and it's number 54. Num $6 for number 54, the little baby planter. Isn't it cute? Yeah, Michael is alive, but we love Michael, and I don't like it when Michael's not here. I, like, I feel safe when Michael's here. <laughs> Michael makes us all feel safe. Okay. Yeah, I I, I wasn't sure about the, that planter. Ugh, it's too seedy. I don't think I can drink it. All right. Next we have, now this is not a vintage bag. It is... A, a new bag, but it has this sweet little vintage looking needlepoint on it. Let me get back. Look at her shoes. She's got little Mary Jane shoes on, but it's a little canvas bag. Isn't this cute? And it's never been used. It's never been used. It's a brand new canvas bag. So you could carry all your cool, like you could take it to yard sales with you and stuff. It'd be a Goodwill bag. Oh, it'd be a Goodwill bag. I thought it was really cute. It's brand new, and she did a very good job. This lady was a sewer, and all of the stuff that I got from her was just as clean as clean could be, and, and it was just very, very, very nicely done. This is $10, and it's number 34. For the canvas bag, has a nice long handle on it. It's just plain on the other side. It's kind of an oatmeal color. $10 for number 34. Shirley, Shirley Pearl. I think it's so cute. My messaging 
Try messaging me. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you were talking to me or not, Tina. Okay. <laughs> all right. Next we have, do you all remember this girl? Now, I don't remember the girl as much as I remember the boy. The Pillsbury Dough Boy. I didn't realize that there was a Pillsbury Dough Girl. And, you know, you this doesn't do anything. But in the commercials, you do that and they would he would laugh. So, here's the Pillsbury Dough Girl. She is uh, $5 and she's number 58. She is marked Pillsbury Company 1972. So, and she's soft and rubbery. She doesn't squeak or do anything like that, but it's just a promotional piece, I'm sure. $5 for number 58. Cherry Crater. Cherry Crater. I don't remember the girl. I, I, I remember the boy. All right. Vision of Vintage Supply. Oh, bye, Tina. Bye, Tina. Okay, get ready. Y'all ready? Because next we're doing... The fairy lamp. <gasps> oh, all the music just plays. All the angels sing. This is Stars and Bars. It's Indiana Glass. It's in excellent condition. Um, this is the one that I had shown in, in the video. Um, I do have a couple more of these, but not in the green. I have the flash painted one, and I have another one that I, I have an idea for. Um, you know what, Vinny? I don't think so. I... Emma, will you look and see if I have my flashlight in my computer bag? Yeah, I have to refresh my page. Anymore. Emma's refreshing it's buffering her buffering for me. Am I buffering? I don't think so. I think she's on internet. It's buffering for Emma. So, check and see if it's in my computer bag. Normally, I keep this lamp in the um, in my purse. Just, you know, when you're out and you can just easily. But I, th so I think it's in my purse and not in my computer bag. I don't think that it glows either. I really don't. I have that other piece of Vaseline glass that I keep meaning to see if it glows so I can have it on an upcoming sale. But this is Stars and Bars Indiana Glass. Very good condition. Mm -hmm. I don't have it with me. I don't think that this glows. So just saying. Uh, so this is... Where'd it go? Hang on, hang on. Let me make sure Emma's ready. Hi, Janine. You're from North Carolina. North Carolina, you got cheer wine down there, right? We were talking about big red and different kinds of pops earlier. Okay. Uh, did the baby planter sell, Emma? Number? I don't know. It was number 54. Um, no. The baby planter did not sell, so if you're wanting it, it is number 54. Who asked? And it's $6. They'll, for, yeah, she can say if she wants it. But let me get my thing going here. Okay. This is the suspense, I know. This is $16. And, okay, Lori says it doesn't glow. She has this one. $16, and it's number four. Hi, Mystique Antiques. I feel like I'm saying my name when I say your name. Number six or number four is $16. Michelle at Mermaid Cove. Michelle at Mermaid Cove. And this was from a, um, a barn pit that Dad went on. All right, next I have, we're going to stick with the green theme for a few minutes because I have this beautiful, beautiful brooch. This was, I showed this in my video. It has the pretty flowers. Now this stone is plastic. It's not glass. So just saying that. But it, it, this is an old piece of jewelry. It has the C clamp on it. Let me move the tag so you can see. It doesn't have the, the locking clamp on it. And it's so pretty. I love these. This is $10 and it is number 53. $10 number 53. Someone said someone did bid on 54. No, I think they misheard you. Oh, Southern okay. Mermaid. Got the brooch? Yeah. Southern Mermaid. You got this. I think it's so pretty. Okay, I'll stop showing it because it's sold. 
All right, more salt and pepper shakers. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting there. We're almost, we're almost done with this sale. Oh, oh, this goes in. in Will there. you show the planter again? To okay. Because I'm confused. People wanted it or not. Okay. The, who got fifty-four? We don't know. Did you see anybody's name? I think they thought that the fairy lamp was fifty-four. And that's oh, okay. So I'm gonna show it again. So this is fifty-four. The baby planter. It's six dollars. I'm just gonna show. I'm just gonna say it again, and the first to get it will win. It's six dollars, and it's it's number fifty-four. <laughs> they already know the number. So this is fifty-four. Crazy Doxy lady said that she. Okay, gotcha. Crazy Doxy lady, you got number fifty-four. I do have more, another one of these. So if you really wanted it, if you wanted one of these, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. And I didn't say that. So if you've bought something and you've not bought something from me before, make sure you send me that email with your shipping information. Okay. What was this? Oh, that was, where'd it go? Oh, here we go. Sorry. Okay. Oh, good. Well, crazy doxy lady, I have more. So I will be showing more. I do have more of that baby one. But this little guy, this little salt and pepper shaker, has got the little donkey on it. And in his little basket, he has salt and pepper shakers. They do have the uh, corks in them. And they are marked, yeah, they're marked Japan. And it's Japan in cursive. What? What? Did Benny say something funny? Benny asked for your email. Benny. Benny, Benny likes to ask for my email. Benny, you're just going to have to go in the description and see it. I'm not going to tell you again. Okay, so this is this little donkey. Beautiful colors on it. Excellent condition. It's marked Japan on the bottom, too. This is $12, and it's number 19. Number 19 is... $12 for the donkey salt and pepper shaker. I have crazy doxy lady. Crazy doxy lady. Ooh, crazy doxy lady. Wait till my video on Friday. <laughs> I got something that you might like. And they'll be available on eBay as an auction. Okay, let's do this lamp. This Humpty Dumpty, vintage Humpty Dumpty nursery lamp. Uh, it is made by Plastics Nursery. It's wood, but it's made out of wood. Now, he, ooh, about, about threw him at you. His paint is chipped, which, again, I like it just how it is, but if you're putting this in a baby's room, you know, I, I don't know if it has lead-based paint that was used on it, but he's a happy little Humpty Dumpty. Sitting on the wall. He hasn't fell yet because he's happy and he's not cracked yet. And he, I will clean him up. I didn't, can't believe I'm showing this to you and I didn't wipe his bottom. But this does work. I do not have the original shade, but he does work. I had him plugged in the shop and we used him all the time. So uh, he, he works just fine. His cord is just fine. Now, I typically, if I was using this in my house, I would probably update the cord but he's just a fun lamp you don't even have to plug him in he's cute he is eighteen dollars and he's very lightweight too eighteen dollars and he's number 43. number 43 is eighteen dollars i love this color so cute he kind of i sold a little a littler one uh, not too long well a couple sales ago and he's the big brother of the Evan, 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 you got that lamp. Awesome. Evan, you beat out Shirley. Not very, that doesn't happen very often, right, Shirley? <laughs> okay. Next, we have some books. I'm going to show these books kind of fast because I, I, I'm trying to get this going a little bit. I tend to talk. We have a Western. This is the Mystery Raider. Mystery Raider. This is copyright. I want to say 19... 43 where are you at oh 1953 i was 10 years off 1953 now this is the girl that i said looked a lot like i think she looks like elizabeth taylor um and it is the, his gun was his only love until he met the flaming girl i don't know why she's the flaming girl but uh this is four dollars and it's number 28 she's a little saucy 
So it's a Western love story from 1953. Yeah, it is. It's pre-Giant. Yeah, because Giant was, nine, I think it was 1955 or 1956. But it was James Dean's last movie that he did. And he died in 1955. I have Cena Marcus. Cena Marcus. Oh, I said her name right. I said your name right, Cena. Looks like your husband. Well, your husband's a handsome man, elderly poodle. Well, then we got The Fighting Ramrod, which is quite a lovely title for a book. Um, this is Flaming Six Guns Answers Marauding Rustlers. Um, and look at him. The artwork on these books, I just love. He's giving him the side eye. This guy is. Um, Rustlers. This one is, I don't think, this one's more of an action and less of a romance. But with Fighting Ramrod, I don't, I, let's just say that it's not for a romance because that doesn't sound very good. But this book is in really good condition, honestly, for its age. It is copyright. It's the, the first printing was in 1951. So this is the second print of 1952. And it is $4 and it's number 28. And you can have, if you want the cover to say Flaming Ramrod on your display, then you can have that. Flaming Ramrod is $4 for number 28. Wait, you just told me. Did I? What was the other book's number? The other, oh, I did. I did do two 28s. Did anybody want them? Yeah, Cena wanted both of them. Okay, Cena, you got them both. Just put Cena down for both. You got them both, Cena. I, don't know. Okay. I have a lot of Western books um, I need to go through. How about Creepy Baby? It's Creepy Baby time. I love her. I She's this, like, she's annoyed and she's had enough. And I love that about her. I think that she's, I love this expression on her face. She's got a hole in her hat. I just, I think that she's, Emma, do you want, do you like her? No. I like her. Yep, there's the side eye. I think that she's cute, too. She looks so cute, just, you know, in a planter, or you could, like, hide. She could be, like, the elf on the shelf. You can hide her in different places. Evan's and, not interested. <laughs> Evan, it's your favorite baby. Andrew, you could get this, and it could be, you know, he could, you know, the elf on the shelf reports to Santa, but this little elf, this little doll could report to somebody. So, anyway, it is $6, and it's number 44. She's not putting up with nothing. $6 for number 44. Barb. Oh, Barb! You should hide this, and, like, and it's watching Jeffrey, making sure that Jeffrey she is... Said 44. I said 44. I just 44 earlier. What was 44? I don't know. We'll put Barb down for this one. I, I don't know what number it is. Should be baby. Just okay, just write it down. It just write it down, Emma. Just write it down. Okay. Airplane planter. Airplane planter. Isn't this cute? What was that one? This is an Arco, which again, they did a lot of these, you know, just floral delivery planters. And they still do. They still do make some like this. Uh, this one's made in Japan, so this one is vintage. But they do still make these kind of planters that look old, but they're not. Um, so this little cute guy, and I like that because you don't see a lot of boys on planters, and you don't see a lot of boys like in figurines and stuff. So sometimes, you know, when you find the boy things, they're just kind of special because they don't make them very often. Or they didn't make them as often as they did little girls. But this little guy is in great condition. He's a little dirty, you know, from because he's a planter. Uh, and he is number 10 and he is $12. The cute little aviator boy planter. Andrea Joseph. Andrea Joseph. Oh, this would be cute for Evan. All right. Oh, I'm going to move these over. I'm getting confused with what I've already said. I don't know if Rachel's still here or not. But this is right up Rachel's alley. The Tiddlywinks game. Rachel likes... The tiddlinks or she likes she's like me she likes graphics and she likes the the packaging on things and look at these look they are playing tiddly he's playing tiddlywinks in a tie 
in a tie. And she's got a dress on. Look at the little dog. So this is Tiddlywinks and other games. It is just, I mean, just for display. This alone, I think, is great. Now, on the inside, I want to say, I haven't even opened this up. Yeah. It doesn't, all the tiddlies aren't in here. <laughs> you don't get all the tiddlies in this game. There's, I don't, there's some tiddlies, but not all of them are in here. And it was looking at me like, what the heck's a tiddly? So these are the tiddlies. So you, you know what tiddly winks are. Some of, Evan probably doesn't know what they are, but y'all know what they are. But look, this is a twofer. This is a twofer because you can use the cover of the box for display. And I, I don't know why I took this out because there is nothing underneath there. And you can use this one as a display. So you can use them. Turn your sound off, Emma. It's not my phone. Oh. Anyway, tiddlywink. You don't know what tiddlywinks are? Yes, you do. You have these little clip, these little, the big one is the, the flipper. And you flip it and you try to make it wherever it lands. That's what point you get. I mean, it has several of the tokens in here. But I don't think it has all of them in here. But anyway, this cool game is... Where'd it go? It's $8 and it's number 41. $8 is number 41 for the Tiddlywinks game. I have Kim Zapf. Kim Zapf. I think that it's cool, but I, this is the kind of stuff I like. This is very, this is from the fifties. Put that back on there so it doesn't come back open. All right. Now we have another book. This is the Cokesbury game book. It's 600 games for fun and fellowship. Now these are nice to use, you know, in a display, you know, as, you know, you can build things on. I like to use these thick books with the thinner books. So it has a pretty neat cover on it because I like the drama, the happy and sad masks. So I do like that little theater aspect of it. This, it was made in copyright in Roman numerals. Misty, one of these days you will learn to look that up before you do these. But it just has quiet games in it and writing games. So if y'all are homeschooling next year, oh, what's this? What's the Roman numerals? Oh, it's 1950 something, I, I would guess. Um, the Roman numerals are, um, has more than 600 new games. Uh, where are you at? Uh, MCMXXXIX. This was inside, it's a typed out. 1939. 1939? I was way off, 1939. Um, this has a typed grocery list on the inside. She was getting cinnamon, mints, kebab, and baked ham, apples, nuts, raisins, meat, celery, cranberry, pickles, and lettuce. So we'll leave that in there. Uh, but it has, you know, just all kinds of ideas. So if you all are homeschooling in the fall, uh, you know, it's got music. You, you, this is all you need. Well, you know what I mean. Well, there you go, Evan. He has got all his activities in here. This book is uh, $6 and it's number 30. $6 for number 30. And I probably should have said if you're new here, um, shipping is not included. <laughs> I, you will get charged for shipping, so the prices do not include shipping. I have Andrea Johnson. Evan, your homeschooling's done. All your activities are in this book. So you will have, actually, Evan probably would enjoy. Evan is a young man, a young, I will say young child, but he loves vintage things. So he probably would like that. All right. I know that's the thing. You learn who's who from hanging out with all this during these live sales. It is the fun thing. Okay. I adore this. Oh, I Turn, they're backwards. Let me get these guys straight. I picked them up and turned them the wrong way. These were in my video. Look. Look at how cute they are. They're sitting in their little garden, their little salt and pepper shakers. So you, yeah, you can't really see it, but you, you shake the 
salt and pepper out of their heads. You can see it more on him. I know. Look at his sweet face. Oh my gosh, I love him. And they have their little garden that they're sitting in with the mushrooms and the flowers. They are made in Japan. They're so cute. I've never seen these before. Made in Japan. I don't get that's not the number, so don't get all excited. That was just on it when I bought it. And you get these for $12, and they are number 17. $12 for number 17. Look how they're just staring at each other. Oh, thank you, Alex. Evan, he does not. Janice Stevens. Janice Stevens. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. I do have a piece of jadeite. Um, I bought. I picked this up because I thought it was very pretty. I believe that this was in my video. It's a piece of Fire King jadeite, a, a vintage piece of jadeite. I think, and it's painted, which I wouldn't paint over jadeite in a million years, but they did, and they did a very pretty job. I like the mountains and the cactus and it, it, this isn't this artwork or this kind of scene you don't see a lot in Indiana. So I, I liked it. I thought it was very pretty. I thought that the colors were it's very nicely done. It does not have a signature on it anywhere. So it's just someone just painted it. You know, I know. I know, Michelle. That's what I thought, too. But I thought it was so pretty. So I, I like it. Um, so this is $8, and it is number 23. It is marked Fire King on the back. $8 for number 23. I thought it would be pretty on a shelf, you know. It's just... Barb. Barb! Wait, you're in the 23, too. You're... What? I got it. Emma's annoyed. She's a... <laughs> My mom can't count. I can count, Emma. Apparently I'm messing up in the numbers, but I know I wouldn't remove the paint. I liked it because someone took all that time to paint it. I mean, you can do what you want to with it, Barb, but I don't know. I, I just like it. All right. This next thing is right up my alley because this is the kind of stuff that I like. And that is this tin. Now, Luke, if you're watching, does this look familiar? Because I bought this from Luke's booth. So if you're watching, Luke. You should remember this because I got it from your booth. Uh, and I kind of did it because I know what I paid for it and I know what I marked it as. So, Luke, you're watching. I'm just going to tease him a little bit. But this is a cool piece of advertisement. Now, this is an original tin. The mop head did come in this tin originally. Uh, it's made by Midway Chemical Company in Jersey City, Jersey. It's in really good condition. You can display it like this. You can display it like that. You can put buttons in it. You can put whatever you want to in it. Um, it is just a neat tin. I had the price tag of what I paid for it. I think it would look great in a laundry room. Yeah, like in a kitchen. I love this. Thank you, June. So it is $12 and it is number 13. $12 for number 13. 13. I love this. I love it. Love it. Love it. I almost kept it, but I did. I have Laura Melendez. Laura Melendez. I know. I loved it. I love advertising pieces. I love tin. I just found, I bought a tin book and then I was looking through some of my um, collector's books and I've got three more tin books I didn't really even realize that I had. So I'm going to be looking at tin books, advertisement tins. Okay. And I really want to, if you, anybody you have, if you, anyone has a popcorn, an old popcorn tin, like one from the 40s, let me know, because I'm looking for one of those. Yes, Laura, I can. I can, Laura, you're getting her go on vacation. Yes. Send me an email, though, Laura, just to remind me. Okay, next we have this days of the week. We're almost done, guys. Just a few more things. Days of the week towels. We have Sunday through Saturday, all seven days of the week. They, here's, well, they're all the same. Now, these are not vintage. They are, someone stitched the, the words on here. They are not a vintage towel, but they're all different colors. So we've got Sunday. I'll show you the colors. Monday. They're tea towels. Tuesday. Wednesday. That one's my favorite one. Oh, and it's, Wednesday's my sale day. So that's my great day. Oh, this one's pretty too. Uh, Thursday, 
Friday and Saturday. Uh, like I said, they are not vintage. They've never been used. I think someone just, she, she stitched these. I got these from that estate sale where I got a lot of other linens. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is so cool. What if I do it? Oh, you guys are talking. So these, you get all of them. You get all seven towels for $16 and they're number 35. Number 35 is $16 for the days of the week tea towels. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. I liked it, Shirley. I'm with you. Nesting Haven said that her husband would change them out for the wrong days just to mess with her. So would dad. You, your husband and my husband would get along great. I have, I don't know if Kathy's watching, but Kathy, if you're watching, Kathy is water baby and she sent me blocks that say paint. And I got that idea and I sent some to Michelle that said cozy. Well, my husband changes the words in them. So he did plate, no. Tape. Tape. That was me, that wasn't that. Oh, that was you? Uh -huh. Well, the apple doesn't fall too far, far from the tree. But I did buy the Noel uh, magnets from Jeffrey the with the Santas on them last year and he changed the words every day I he probably got online and looked up how many words that you can spell out of Noel which isn't really a lot but it drove me nuts all right next we have two modern not old pillowcases but they are hand sewn you get two of them on they're white with this really pretty H embroidery on it and along the trim are these really pretty purple hearts. And they've never been used. Again, it came from that estate sale that I went to where this lady just, she was a sewer and she just did all these different um, crafts and stuff. So you get both of them for $10 and they're number 32. $10 for number 32 for the H. Very crisp white uh pillowcases oh vicky haney that's perfect oh randy would have been perfect for you too the h names all right next i have the elephants that i love and you do not know how i almost kept him because this color is everything to me this is the color i would have i i do have this color in every room of my house it's a kind of a minty aqua green like a jadeite green. I'm actually getting ready to paint a piece of furniture that I'm going to be bringing home. Uh, this jadeite green. I think it would look cool with my Santa Clauses at Christmas time. So love this. This is, he's got his trunk up, so that's good. He's good luck. He's in great condition. He does have a little chippy right there. Uh, and just a little, it's not I, I can't feel that there's a crack there, but it looks like there is. So I, I want to point that out, but he's just so, so cool. I love him. He's a planter. You can, you know, no, I don't know. I, to me, I'm saying McCoy, but I don't know because he's not marked anywhere. So I, I can't, I don't know. I couldn't find him in my books either, but he definitely feels like it to me. So it was... It is an American made piece. I do, I do know that. But no, I'm not painting Pinky. Jared, I just saw that comment. No, Pinky's staying as he as she is. So this is $15 and it's number eight. $15 for this beautiful elephant. Number eight. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. Shirley Pearl. We love you, but. You probably should never show up at a in a dark alley with all of these other people that are on here. We all love you, Shirley, though. And they do, too. They just want what you want. All right, I have a few more pieces. This is a, another square tablecloth that was probably used for a card table. It's in excellent condition. I There is... Oh, there's an H on it. Huh, there's an H on it. So there are all you H people. There's an H on here. It's in really good condition. It's made of linen. You can see here, it's got these pretty flowers all the way around it. I don't see any stains on it anywhere. It's in great condition. All hand done. It is $12 and it's number 31. 31 is $12. Very pretty. I have Vicki Haney. Vicki Haney. 
Yeah, that H is very subtle. It's very subtle. Yeah, I want Shirley Pearl's internet. Surely you'll have to let everybody know who has your internet or who you have internet through because everybody might switch internet providers. All right, next, I have had a couple people message me about these, uh, these little sweet little things, but they are the Dutch boy and girl sitting on a, on a bench, on a wooden bench, that made in Japan. Here's the little wooden bench. And the little boy and girl, I love the colors on these. Where did the, Emma, do you have these written down? Because I don't know where the thing went. Okay, so just write them in. Just write down Dutch shakers. Sorry. And we're going to give these, yeah. We're going to give them a number because they're sitting over here. These aren't, aren't they cute? They're not Hummels. They, they, they're, they're Hummel-esque, but they're, they're not. They're made in Japan. Boop. They do have the stoppers in them. I think that they're so, they're so cute. And they look cute sitting on their little bench. And I just like the colors on them. She's got my collar on her skirt. But these are $12. And they're number 61. $12. For number 61. They barely fit on their bench. They're kind Jared of big. Oh, Jared. Jared likes the salt and pepper shakers. I think they're cute. $12. Okay. okay, we have three more things. This is a little silver tray that was in my video. It has three little legs on it, but one of the little uh, knobs is missing. See, this one has a little brown knob. I think it's really pretty. I think it would look neat in a display just to add a little bit of height to it um, with this, you know, like kind of an open, open lace design on it. Uh, this is dollars, and it's number 39. Eight dollars for number thirty-nine for the silver hot pad. Someone else told me it was a hot pad, but you could you could put a planter on it. It could be a plant stand. CCC. CCC, which is Carolyn Kathy. Carolyn Kathy. All right, two more things. Vintage apron. This is a yellow gingham apron with black stitching on it. It's so pretty and so fun and so vintage. I have it tied in the back. This is $12 and it's number 19. Ooh, number 19 is $12 for the vintage apron. Very clean. There's not any stains on it at all. Just a really fun color for summer. Um, Kim Zap. Kim Zap. You got the apron. Wrong number as well. It was a wrong number? Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of I kind of kept track a little differently, which I'm not going to do that anymore. No, she can't count. I, 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 but I got Karen for the apron. Okay, Karen, you got the apron. Or not Karen. Or Kim. Kim's that. Okay, this is the last piece for the YouTube sale. And then on the, yes, the game book did get sell. Get, did get sold. It did get sold. And then, so after, right after this is over, we will go over to Instagram and I have 15 more things. But I have a piece of Hager. This was in the video as well. There's the bottom. Really pretty. It's that color again. Wouldn't this look pretty? I see this, you use this and you put lemons in it on your table or on your counter countertop. I think that it's just, it's so pretty. Uh, it's kind of that matte, kind of like a brush McCoy feel to it. There's no chips on it anywhere it's an excellent condition it is fifteen dollars and it's number 12. fifteen dollars for number 12 for the hager bowl i have the graceful lily market the graceful lily market i don't recognize you graceful lily market make sure that you send me an email so everyone send me an email at thrifter junker vintage hunter at gmail Not everyone well I bought something yeah, everyone that bought something. Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter at gmail.com. Um, Nicole, are you having a live sale today? I need to start printing off the calendar and quit. I, I'm a very much a paper 
look like write things on a calendar person. Uh, oh, well, welcome, Graceful Lily Market. Um, if you go to my my Instagram or my YouTube, I have a calendar that has everybody's live sales on. Okay, that's what I thought. So tonight, are you Central Time, Nicole? I can never get the times straight. But tonight at seven, she'll she'll tell me. Um, Nicole Nestinghaven is having her live sale tonight. So make sure that you do check that out and. Eastern. Okay. So seven o'clock Eastern standard time for nesting Haven. Uh, and then tomorrow trusty huckster mercantile is having a sale and th there might be somebody else. Too. I have to look at the schedule. I don't want to say it and then, and then miss out on somebody. I do have a, a calendar on the community tab in my, on my YouTube channel. So you can make sure that you check out everybody's sales and the video that I will be putting out on Friday, I will have 15 salt and pepper shakers that are really cool that will be going live for auction uh, as soon as that video airs and there'll be a seven day auction. So you'll be able to bid on some, oh yeah, I'll, 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 I'll say that Mark. You'll be able to bid on some salt and pepper shakers. George the Antique Nomad has his live, well, it's his preview. So you can talk to him live in the chat. So make sure, and I think that's at seven o'clock Eastern. I want to say, um, oh, Jean, Jeannie, you uh, send me an email and I will send you a PayPal invoice after I have your shipping all done. We'll be working on that tomorrow. So send me an email tonight and I will see you guys tonight at seven in George's live premiere and at eight for Nicole's sale. So, oh yeah, I'll see you on Instagram in about five minutes. So head on over to Instagram for 15 more things. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, say something, random comment in the in the chat of the actual video, that helps, and I will see y'all in a few minutes. Thank you, bye.